Welcome back to Wrap 4, Omar Macy here. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about the lock bolt system combined with the anti-chop bolt. Uh, last video we did, we were talking about the lock bolt and how you have to recock after even every magazine you install or every time you have a misfeed. Uh, in this case we have the T68 basically assembled uh, with the, an the anti-chop bolt and the lock bolt system. And what you will see is basically with this system you will not have to recock after each misfeed or a magazine. Uh, basically it just it's still reduces the amount of airflow that goes into the paintball so it will not shoot out of the barrel uh, because it's basically not allowing the bolt to chamber it. Okay, so as you can see, um, there we go. I'm starting to pull out here. Cycle, cycle through, off and then on. Basically with the trigger you have to cycle it on and off and on so if you've been leaving it on the on position uh, full auto it will not work. So. There we go. Okay. As you can see, while we're still shooting it, it'll continue to fire even though it doesn't, uh, the lock bolt's activating. So it's still preventing an improperly chambered ball from shooting or chopping in this case, but it does recock after after each uh, firing session. Let's go ahead and shoot another magazine for this. Okay, as you can see, there's a distinctive sound between uh, actual firing and when it does the lock bolts activating. All right, go ahead and shoot it with the uh, box mag. Now box mag has had a very good result so far. Uh, pretty much until you get to the last uh, around five to 10 paintballs, it does a bobbing effect on the paintball tube and the feed tube. And some people do get chops that way, but with this system, it basically virtually eliminates it. Again, uh, the choosing the right size paint and the right uh, quality paint is extremely important uh, to basically having a successful time with this. So we're going to get a full auto and with the box mag. Alright, so right here Okay, well we have the uh, basically the box mag pouch on here, so I'm unable to see how many paintballs we have left inside here, but from judging it, it's pretty low. And in fact, you'll notice while I'm shooting it, that it has some kind of misfires. Um, again, without the lock bolt system, you would most likely get a chop, and we can kind of demonstrate that uh, with a standard T68 paintball gun that we have here as well. Let's see if we can uh, replicate that. Yeah, so one, again, main, main reason for the lock bolt is not a fix for the paintball gun in any way, but it really is a way to get the best uh, performance out of, out of these markers. And of course, there's that two options. So if you want to go with the route of using the lock bolt with the standard, standard bolt, uh, it has the realism factor, so after each magazine you have to recock it. Or if you're more for the gameplay style, you can have the anti-chop bolt, which actually does two things. That it actually extends the life of the bolt itself, because obviously the bolt hitting against the ramrod would be pretty hard on it over time. Uh, so we do recommend that when using the lock bolt, uh, you watch out during your uh, cleaning and disassembly, just to make sure that it's still uh, still good. And of course, we'll have options for that as well. So, so again, this thing is pretty low on paint. What we'll do is probably here, we'll put in a few paint balls in here to. Uh, Now for the purposes of this video, uh, we're doing this without safety goggles uh, because we don't have a microphone out here, but we do always uh, always wear your safety goggles when you're shooting these paintballs. Uh, it's definitely very important, uh, so yeah, definitely don't try this at home. Okay, there we go, so we've got the box mag on. Okay, so right there what we had is basically there's a paintball. See, the, the trigger's been disengaged. There's a paintball actually stuck inside the chamber. Um, don't know, yeah, that actually will. There you go. So, as you can see, basically, 
Because of the bobbing effect between uh, the box mag of the last paintballs, it's very likely to get a chop. We got a chop in this case. Let's see if you can see that? It's very clear right away that the lock bolt really is doing its job. It's really a pair of mechanical eyes if you want to compare it to a system that's already existent. Uh, so that's the main purpose of the lock bolt system. All right, so you can see that clearly right there. Um, the last set of paintballs, and all of you who have a box mag have probably experienced this, and basically when you get to the last uh, last bit, you normally refill it, or that's what's been happening. So you can see that here. So we can clear this up and uh, all right, so uh, basically these lock bolt systems will be available for the mag kits as well as a drop-in mechanism on, and if you're familiar with the mag kits, there's the side feed port where the cyclone would be on some of those markers, and that's where the plan is to assemble the lock bolt system through the side. When you get to the T68, uh, basically we're having to replace uh, quite a few components to implement the lock bolt system into it. So we're implementing the whole top new rail, uh, the whole feed chamber, so I mean, all of these, these things you have to take into account, uh, but obviously any of the generations uh, from Gen 4, we have to skip Gen 5, 6, 7, uh, you can implement this system onto all of them. Thank you very much.